Okay, we back on? All right, it's back on. Hey, um, I'm looking at my laptop here, just looking at some more uh, videos that I, I haven't like, uh, I have this new thing lately where I'm like replying and I've always really wanted to join like the comments crowds of like YouTube and video channels and shit like that. So I'm, I've been writing and doing like video replies and shit, right? To a lot of shit lately. Just something I do in the evenings before I work out. So like here, uh, what I'm talking about this one today, uh, so much bullshit in the news here. Uh, this is something I found that said on YouTube, it says, African Americans don't understand economics. So I played it and it, it's like some, I like documentaries and shit like that. And it's about black people, you know, so maybe I could educate myself some more because half of my family is full of black people half of them are full of Ethiopians and like a hundred percent of them are full of shit but whatever so this is about African Americans in America black Americans in economics and I played this shit and I, I looked up some of the info and stats and they said that uh, the average net worth of uh, black man or woman or whatever in America is four thousand nine hundred dollars right I'm like, okay, so what? So then it says the average net worth of uh, white Americans is like 99 or just say $100,000 or whatever. And I said, wow, that's like a pretty huge difference, like factored by 20 times or some shit like that, right? So that's pretty fucking crazy. You have like a real fucking, I wouldn't even say $100,000 is a lot of money. That's like the fucking very basic house or whatever. Some. You know, it's, it's not a lot of money in today's 2018. So, you know, if that's where white people are at and black people are 20 times below that, it's like black people are economically underwater. They have no net worth. That $4,900 is, that's like their, that means if they sold everything they owned and just converted it into a bar of gold or some shit, that's all they'd get, which basically means they have some, piece of shit car with rims, maybe some jewelry, a watch, I don't know, some Jordans. If you add it all up, it'll be less than $5,000, right? Uh, white people, on the other hand, their net worth mostly, from what I'm reading in the article, <laughs> comes from home ownership and having, uh, owning the home as an asset or whatever. Most black people are not homeowners or landowners, so they don't have any net worth. And this is also due to like, they never, most black people don't have property and shit grandfathered to them. Like nobody ever gave me a fucking house or land or no shit like that. They should have, but they didn't, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, so I, I grew up without the entitlement and go and get your own or whatever. But black people are just not, they're not, I don't know what it is, man. They just don't have their shit together. They don't have their shit together. The information's on the internet. I understand that it's not easy. I know there's a lot of work involved. It's, uh, it's a lot of cultural disenfranchisement and shit like that. If you have to deal with a family that's like mine, it's no wonder why uh, you, know, you got no net worth because nobody doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. You guys just got out of segregation 50 years ago or some shit, but things may have been better back then. I don't fucking know. I really don't fucking know. But yeah, that was, uh, if the statistics are true, whew, ain't that some shit? So another thing I'll bring up too about this black people, man, black people are statistically five. I should actually just look this shit up for current stats, but I think around 10% of the American population. But let's see what Google says since they're like the trusted data source or some shit, you know, the world standard. Black people pop, wait. Population in America percentage. What percentage is black? Okay, 13.3%. That, that's actually quite high. I thought it was like 10% or something. So, black people are increasing in numbers. Oh, what else is this? Hispanic and Latino Americans amount to 17.8%, making up the largest ethnic minority. That's not a minority. Anyway, America, my, my point is America is still a very white country. It's, it's white people land. You know, black, live it, whatever, wherever you go, it's mostly white people everywhere. So black people 
of that 13.3%, we're looking at uh, what, six and a half, something like 6.8% of the country is black women, okay? Population-wise or whatever, in terms of numbers. So this is for people that, uh, and I've got some of my own family who have told me shit like that. There, there are black people that do not date outside of their race. I'm not one of them. <laughs> But for real, there's some people in my family that are, you know, oh, would never, oh, only a black woman's the queen of the universe, and I'd never, oh, white women, no, oh, I'm like, like, wow, dog. So what about the other 93% of America? You're just going to fucking, uh, just say fuck them to focus on that 6% or something, huh? That's 6.5% or whatever it was. The indoctrination that black moms and black families will give to their sons and daughters, man. You guys gotta realize you don't live in fucking black land. You live in America. United States of America, it's a big fucking country. It's full of farmland, cornfields, swamps, deserts and shit, mountains and whatever, but black people don't really see much of this like wide open fucking country, I swear. Most don't. I'm not speaking for all, but I'm just saying most don't. So this very enclosed view of living in like a little box of, uh, man, that view of the world's really sad, man. Uh, it's actually really sad. I mean, so many people, family and friends I know have so limited beliefs due to their religion, due to their family, and them never just stopping to reflect and say, does this shit make any sense? What are you going, stop going to school, stop going to work for one day at least, and hit the brakes and look, like, look around and say, does this shit make sense? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Who am I working for? Who am I going to school for? You know, what, what's the purpose? What's the end goal of this video game called life or this process that I'm doing called school or work? Are the, are the rewards worth it? Do you understand why you're doing what you're doing? Are you doing it to ultimately increase your net worth or is all your money going out the window to buy more shit that doesn't increase your net worth? Cars, jewelry, shoes, just nigger shit. Come on, it's like, think about that, man. Fuck. So, you know, you got, think about, think about me growing up if you were in my shoes, in a black family, black mom, this, that. Surrounded by black people in a black neighborhood, you know, it's like hope is distant. You don't know anybody else that has, you know, just the so-called normal American dream. Meaning a house, a car, a stable life where you're not moving every couple months and shit like that. There's very, you know, I, I wonder, man, dude, so many disadvantages here to being black in America. There's advantages, mind you, but there's the disadvantages far, man. I mean, there's an argument amongst people that say like America is the best place to make it in the world if you're a black person because, you know, you can get involved in the world of athlete, athletics, entertainment and shit and whatever and I guess they're partially right, you know. If I were born in fucking Haiti or South Africa or some other place or whatever, then, you know, shit would be a little more harder, I think. I don't know, it might be easier, you never really know. Better look that up. See, this is why you have to reach out to people on YouTube and internet and Google and shit and just ask, hey, how are things in fucking London right now? How are things down there in South Africa, Ethiopia, China? What's going on there? You can actually look around and, uh, you know, just growing for me growing up in like just the dark motherfucking ages without the internet and just having like Britannica Encyclopedia <laughs> as your only source of knowledge as a kid, you know, it's like, wow, this generation now, we can really just access and reach out to motherfuckers and see what the deal really is over there and see how people look and behave and how things are ran over there. So since I leave America so often, I'm able to look at it from an outsider's perspective and be like, okay, well, this, 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 and work, this works, but why are you even doing this? Why are you wasting your time here? What are those people? No, stop, it's just, Get your work ethic right and work, right? <sighs> America is a great place to be in if you have a good work ethic. If you don't have a good work ethic and you're entitled and you think they owe you something, mm -mm, you ain't gonna make it here. You're gonna get churned over quick, quick. No social safety nets, or very limited ones, unless you're a woman with children. If you're a man in America and you 
ain't working or ain't doing nothing for yourself, or you don't even got like a little stupid channel or some project you're working on. My pin rye. All right, so that's enough. I'm gonna uh, get get exercising because I got real shit to do in the real world here. Thanks for listening to me, uh, YouTube, internet, wherever I upload this, and uh, I hope this new little microphone works here. So, Shemmy signing out from the Shemmy Show. Peace and hair grease. Buy my movies. Want your money? Dislike me if you don't like me. Dislike this video. All good. Peace out.